All right, I'm gonna give y'all my Lewis. <laughs> I'm gonna give y'all my top five. If like my top five guys that got injured, just to get just to give a little different flair in there, real quick. So my top five running backs that were injured that I think could have probably been the best or could have had a chance, right? <laughs> Tiki, Tiki was nasty, but I'm gonna throw Tiki at like five. Okay, at one. I'm going to put Frank Gore. Frank Gore, damn. I'm going to put Frank Gore at one. Pops, you're going to love who I put at number two here. I'm going to go Willis McGahee. I can't. Then at three, I'm going to go Ricky Williams. Ricky Williams. And then at four, I'm going to go Cadillac Williams. (laughs) And then five, I'm going to go Tiki Barber. Sean McCoy. But now, I don't know. I kind of want to put Marcus Allen in there above Tiki Barber, bro. Marcus Allen was different. Cadillac didn't play for long enough to do even closer to that. No, I said, but he got injured, though. This is my top five, like, getting injured list. Like, top five running backs that got injured that I think had a chance to be, like, really good if they didn't get, in, like, a bad injury. I Like, T- Terrell Davis is right there on that cusp, too, of being in there. I like Terrell a lot. Yeah, that'd probably be my injury list. Cause did Gail Sayers get injured, Dad, or no? He just stopped, right? He got hurt, but then uh, Brian Pickle got It's hard to leave Marshawn off that list too, though. Yeah, I mean, shit. I mean, you leaving out Marshawn, you leaving out Eddie George, uh, you leaving out mm-hmm. Warwick Dunn, like you leaving out a lot of names. I mean, shit, LaShawn McCoy got his own right to be in somebody top five for mm-hmm. sure. Curtis Martin do too. O.J. Simpson, he right there on the cusp. Yeah, I like the list though, fellas. Good list. Good list. Subscribe to the Juice and Pop Show.